Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. The winding road to the Super Bowl continues here in the divisional round, where two teams look to take another step towards the Super Bowl. So let's go now to Detroit, Michigan, where Jim and Phil are on the call. It's the divisional round in the NFL, and that means a trip to the conference championship is on the line here today on EA Sports. Jim Nance along with Bill Sims getting set for this divisional round matchup. Kickoff just minutes away. Yeah, every round of the playoffs, it just gets bigger. Everybody gets more excited, more attention drawn, or thrown at these players, I should say. How do you handle? Can you keep your nerves out of the game? And also, for the coaches, can you make decisions on that sideline that does not hurt your football team? The Buccaneers ready here for the kickoff. What's up guys, this is Sim with Vengeance and I'm back here once again with another Madden NFL 15 Buccaneers franchise and today we are in the divisional round now taking on the Detroit Lions here at uh, Ford Field and here comes Matthew Stafford, the Lions quarterback. Last time we faced the Lions, we ended up coming out with a win against them uh, here in Detroit. It was a very close win, but they did not have Matthew Stafford in that first game. So this kind of makes them more lethal, more of a, of a threat. And they're a completely healthy team, and they are going to put in some work today. I guarantee you that because remember the last time we were doing pretty well against them until like the fourth quarter. It was pretty close. So we just got to watch out for Calvin Johnson and uh, Jacques Bell. He's actually decent in this game. He's a pretty good power back. But we start up on that first possession, and here comes Mike Lennon, our star quarterback. 30 touchdowns, 17 interceptions on the season. And we hope that he can provide us with some great work today. Against this pretty stingy Lions defense here on third and six, all alone in the shotgun. He's dropping back, getting a look, little quick strike, but it's incomplete. And Glennon starts off 0 for 2 so far on the on the drive on the game. So now the Lions get a first and 10 here at the 41. Here's Stafford with Bell in the backfield, drops back, looking to the left side underneath. It is their uh, receiver. I can't remember his name, but he does get a completion right there for four for four so far for uh, Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford, one of the best quarterbacks in the game right now. And, uh, you know, he's got Calvin Johnson to thank for that because Calvin Johnson is easily the best receiver in the league. Dude, 6'6", six, six, like 230, goes up and gets it. He's fast. He has incredible hands. Easily the best receiver in the game. So now they're here with the first and 10. Here's Stafford once again. Has time to throw over to the left side underneath to Calvin Johnson. Megatron with that first down. Stafford, 6'6", six six in this game so far. Doing really well. And now second and four here at about the nine-yard line with a minute and a half to go in the first. They're going to hand it off to Bell, and he is going to get a first down, down to about the three-yard line. Two and a half will give it to him. And uh, now first and goal. They're going to go eye formation this time with the fullback. Not many teams run with fullbacks these days anymore. I don't know why. We, I mean, we had great fullbacks before, like uh, Mike Allstott especially. One of the, Actually, I think Mike Allstott's probably the greatest fullback of all time. That's just me. I, that's Probably me being a little bit biased, but at the same time, he is just amazing. So off here to Sha or Vincent Jackson, and Vincent Jackson takes it down to about the 40-yard line in the Lions' territory. And that's Mike Glennon's first completion of the day, and it goes for 31 yards. Third down and four here for the Bucks. We're going to try and get another first down. Glennon looking his time, and he gets it off, but it's almost intercepted. Throws it right in the triple coverage. And the Buccaneers... Are going to have to settle for a field goal from about 51 yards out. And Connor Barth hits it through. It's now 7-3. We're right back in it. We just don't want to fall too far behind from the Lions because the Lions are a good team. And if once they're ahead, it's pretty hard to catch up to them in this game anyway. So Jacques Bell gets another carry. Gets another first down. Third down and three here for the Lions. Stafford all alone in the shotgun with five wide receivers on the play. Or four wide receivers and a tight end. So he's dropping back. Has time to throw. Underneath, it is another completion down to about midfield for Stafford. Is 8 for 8 in this game so far. He's been amazing. So 324 left here in the second quarter. Here is Matthew Stafford dropping back once again. Looking for that screen pass. And he has time. Somehow he has time. And the offensive line have been doing really well. And somehow my lineman was getting attached to my... Uh, that offensive line right there. I don't know why the game does that. It's like he wants to run by him, but then all of a sudden he gets magnetically pulled into the offensive lineman. But you see Matthew Stafford right there gets hurt on the play. And now Dan Orvlosky comes in. We had to face him last time, and he, he did some pretty good 
uh, work against us. So we're trying to make sure we can contain him once again to try and help ourselves and get ourselves into the NFC Championship game to either against Seattle or San Francisco. And now here's a field goal attempt for the Lions right here as that one's right through the uprights. It is good. It is now 10-3 Detroit. So all we need is the touchdown. We got this game all knotted up at 10. We still have two minutes left in the first half. We have plenty of time, right? So Glenn in the shotgun on second and four. Tries to go underneath to Doug Martin. And he gets a first down. Shreds a tackle. And he's carrying defenders with him as he gets that first down. And now we get to the two-minute warning as Doug Martin gets ourselves in good position here. on a, Now a third and one. Here's Glenn in the shotgun once again. Quick strike right here, and it's almost intercepted. We tried to get it out to Shepard or Jackson. I think that is Jackson could try to get the catch, but it was too uh, too late on the pass right there. So we're going to go on fourth and one, and we get it to about midfield. So we get that first down, and now the clock keeps moving. But we still have plenty of time. We still have all three timeouts. Nothing to worry about. Third down and six. Glennon looking over to the right side. It's caught by uh, Shepard this time. And Shepard gets down to about the 29-yard line with just under a minute to go. 35 seconds left in the first half. Glennon looking left side. It's picked off. Terrible read by Glennon. And that is a pick six, ladies and gentlemen. That is not how we wanted to go about this first half. That's terrible. What ended up could have been at least a field goal. Turns out to be a Detroit touchdown. And now instead of having it at least 10-6 or having it tied up at 10, now we're down by 14. And things are not looking good for the Bucks as we just have not gotten much to go on offense so far. As you see, Glenn is only 7 of 19. And now 4th and 2 right here. we got to try and keep our hopes alive because we're down by two scores. You can say it's kind of panic time, but, I mean, there's still plenty of time left in the game. I just really don't want to fall behind because our offense really hasn't been that great. But we get a completion right here to uh, Lewis Murphy Jr. He gets knocked out, but he'll be fine. He'll come back into the game later. And uh, we get a first down out of that play. So he took one for the team, and he also made a great play on top of it. So third down 11, Glennon looking over to the middle, and it's dropped by Stalker. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will force a fourth down once again. We're going to have to punt the ball. Uh, so the Lions will get another chance here to try and put some more points up. Here on a third and six, they got Johnson in motion. Here comes Stafford looking underneath to Calvin Johnson. And Calvin Johnson, just the best receiver in the league, doing what he does best. That wasn't Stafford back to throw. That was uh, Orvlowski. Uh, Stafford's out for the game but here comes Orlovsky once again looking over the middle again and I think that's Megatron once again getting another catch Orlovsky 6 of 7 for 31 yards but they're short of the first down on that play so they're going to have to settle for a field goal right here and this will make it 20 to 3 if they make it the kick is up and it's good so 20 to 3 Detroit here with just 251 left here in the third quarter so things are not looking good for the Bucks as Glennon has not gotten much to go so far. Neither has the run game. So we really have been struggling so far. So on second and five, we get a completion out there to Stalker. So now we're trying to run no huddle, trying to get a quick score, trying to keep ourselves in this football game because I feel I feel like if we don't score on this possession, it's over. So Glennon gets that stuff knocked down at the line of scrimmage. So we're going to have to go for it on fourth and one again. Yeah, it wasn't really this. It's kind of a smart call, but at the same time, it's kind of not. So we're going to try and get underneath here to Lewis Murphy. As you see him trying to juke his way out of a defender but he couldn't but he still gets forward progress and still gets the first down Glennon is 11 of 27 for 100 yards not really doing that great one interception so far no touchdowns of course because we only have three points so here comes Glennon again nice catch by Page and he's struggling to get that first down on third down so we get it uh, just a half yard short of the first so here comes Glennon again quick strike and you see the Lions defender trying to dive for the ball but Shepard was right there right on the money and he gets that first down. 13 of 30 now for Glennon. He's been really struggling. We just It's just been a bad day for him. So here's Glennon once again. Looking deep downfield. And it's intercepted again. And that, ladies and gentlemen, could pretty much secure this victory for the Detroit Lions. 17 points is really hard to come up and make up for in one quarter. But let's see what we can do. This game's not over yet. We're not giving up. We're the Bucks. So Jock Bell with the handoff. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a laps in tackling skills so they take it all the way down to the 39 yard line in Tampa Bay territory here on third down and two here with 317 left here's our Vlosky dropping back gets an incomplete pass right here. actually gets the completion right there to Calvin Johnson gets both feet in, in bounds and now third down and five once again two minutes to go this game is basically over Tampa Bay season is basically over so unfortunately no championship aspirations for the Bucks this year but at least, you know, compared to the season before that where the Bucks 
went uh, four and twelve. We turned it around and went twelve and four. So next season, we really do hope that we can turn uh, those twelve and four divisional uh, round aspirations into a Super Bowl aspiration. Um, I was actually at the beginning of the season. I actually didn't really have many expectations for the box. As you see right here, Mike Evans goes up and gets it and takes it to the house to make it twenty-three to ten. But I was. I kind of exceeded expectations this year, guys. I'm not going to lie. I was hoping to at least make it at 8-8, eight and eight, but we went 12-4. and four. We came through in some close games. We had a little bit of a slow start, but we really came through at the end of the season, and we almost won the division, and we almost made it to the Super Bowl, guys. That's kind of uh, how we exceeded expectations, That's, at least in my eyes we did. So next season will be a lot better, hopefully. We can make some signs, and uh, we can get some good draft picks, and uh, hopefully... Um, become a Super Bowl contender so in the next season the next video will be the offseason video it will not be a commentary I will just uh, maybe talk for a few minutes and then uh, I will uh, let the music play in the background or whatever so you guys can see all that crazy stuff so until next time my name is Sim with Vengeance and thank you guys so much for watching if you're a first-time viewer hit that subscribe button and until then I am out peace